So we're just out here today in Port Phillip Bay looking for some sort of native stuff we can have a nibble on and talk to you guys about. So we've just got some coastal salt bush here, which is very nice, quite a long leaf for the coastal salt bush. Um, we use it at the cafe fresh, we use it dried, we deep fry it and use it on a few of our dishes and it's quite nice uh, deep fried, but it's also really nice in salads as well, salty, um, but not too overpowering. It's a really, really good product and it's everywhere. So we found some sea berry salt bush here. They're quite sweet, but a little bit salty at the same time. Very nice, but just be careful. They are, they will stain your fingers. So along growing on the coast, we've got some pig face. Well, this is an, an edible coastal pig face um, and it's really nice and succulent and you want to find the really smallest ones possible. We've got some samphire here growing on the side, which is also known as marsh asparagus in the Northern Hemisphere. It's really nice blanched and then refreshed in ice water. Really nice in salads or accompaniment to any dish. Tastes a bit like cucumber, um, like most succulents. So as you can see, we found a pine mushroom hidden under some pine needles. You always find them around the base of a pine tree or in pine plantations and they'll often be hiding directly under the pine needles and you have to clear them away. Underneath it's got like gills and one of its characteristics we actually it gets blue bruises on it when it's handled poorly or it's a way of identifying the actual mushroom. As you can see there's some blue through the gills. So we've also came across a little bunch of slippery jack mushrooms. Um, the reason obviously they're called slippery jacks is because they have a quite sticky sort of film on the top of them and it makes them a lot easier to identify. Um, there's quite a lot of cleaning that needs, you need to do with these guys, but all in all a really good mushroom. It's probably my favorite mushroom. So as you can see underneath this slippery jack mushroom, it's texture is a bit like honeycomb. Um, that's a great way to identify it. It's uh, part of the bortle mushroom family. It's quite a meaty, it's quite a heavy mushroom. This one weighs about three to 400 grams. And um, other than the work you need to put into it, it's quite a good eating mushroom. So growing all around our pine mushrooms and slippery jacks, you will see these funky non-edible mushrooms that look like they're from the Smurfs. And they are a good indication that there is edible mushrooms in the area.